When I was a child, I remember seeing Greenpeace people on television. Before any of this protesting ever started, my father used to go seal hunting and my mom would clean the skins and carve pendants to survive. The labor market in our country is being observed by outsiders. They observe us and they say that we are only being cruel to animals. This is not how it is. Our way of life is not only to make a living from sealskins, but to share it and give to other people in poverty. Since the market was stopped, the ban has resulted in devastation for Inuit today. What they have done is contribute to the poverty of our people. The Inuit Tepeliksit of Canada, as the national voice for Inuit, is one organization working to educate governments and the public on Inuit harvesting practices and the effects the seal ban has had on our families and our communities. The effects on Nunavut have been rather disturbing. Studies have shown that it has had a drastic and devastating impact on the, uh, not only the economic uh, development of Nunavut communities, but also on the uh, cultural and uh, social structure of uh, Inuit in those communities. Every single person in every community has felt the effects of the ban. For our elders, it meant the way of life vanished. For hunters, their entire income. For youth, the loss of traditional teaching and ties to the land has a negative lasting impact. Communities have watched helplessly as generations of families have struggled to cope with substance abuse, suicide, family breakdown, and depression. Inuit Kauyumayatokangit, or traditional knowledge, has always been used, whether it is to continue our skills on the land, in designing clothes, or protecting the environment and wildlife from Inuit. I think a lot of the public, certainly in Canada, is coming to understand that animal rights groups were way off base and their campaigns were really misinformed. The IFAW does not support the sustainable use uh, of wildlife, which is what all major conservation groups around the world, the United Nations Environment Program, the, the World Conservation Union, all promote. We have, however, come to understand that many policies are put in place due to public opinion. Opinions that are formed by a different culture far removed from Inuit. In our culture, the respect Inuit have for our land and the dependence we have on animals for survival ensures we will sustain the populations. It is this respect that has prompted many organizations to understand that people who live off the land rely on a healthy harvest population. The World Wildlife Fund, or the WWF, as it is commonly known, is the world's largest independent conservation organization with almost five million supporters in 96 countries. Well, World Wildlife Fund has always been supportive of sustainable hunting. We're not an anti-hunting organization. We're not an anti-harvesting organization. Our primary concern is that when people utilize wildlife, it's done on a sustainable basis. Um, we also feel that those who use wildlife are often those that have the biggest stake in making sure that it's around in the long term. So often there's a good fit between sustainable hunting and conservation. Otherwise, the hunting is not sustainable. The collapse of the seal market has meant that lifelong expert hunters, designers, and sowers must find other ways to make a living. In Kikitakjok, with a population of approximately 500 people, there are perhaps 70 jobs available. Many people do not have the option of holding a wage job. A full wage economy modeled after the South with auto assembly plants and farms 
are just not possible or even remotely competitive. It is unfortunate that people do not understand our ways, our culture. We hunt for meat, our food, and what is left over, the skins and furs, is used to make clothing. I kind of feel sorry for them because a lot of them walk around with their, their cowhide boots and their leather jackets and things like that. And they're doing all this stuff and they don't even realize the kind of message that they're sending to people who do um, understand, I guess, what seal hunting is, is about. Is there a difference between fur and, say, leather? That's another subject today, it's fur. What no is the comments. difference between both skins and animals? No comments. <laughs> We're talking about fur today. Okay, what about, say, Aboriginal oh, hunting? For food. Today, it's fur. That's all I'm talking about. When they, when they kill an animal to eat it, they need to do something That's with the fur. That's another subject. Today, I'm talking about fur. Sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. The seal is still a very important part of our lives. In my home, we don't waste any of it, and we use as much as possible. We also give seal meat and skins to people, especially the elders, who don't have anyone to hunt for them, to provide them with food. This is a traditional belief of the Inuit. Not everyone in the world has the same culture. Not everyone can grow uh, crops and, uh, or raise cows. Uh, these are the resources that we have up here uh, that uh, belong to the north. Inuit, who have survived for generations on country food like seal, cannot understand why another culture would implement something that affects our lives so drastically. Eating seal is very important to me. Growing up, our family ate what was provided from the land. Meat from animals such as seal, fish, caribou and birds. Today, the food we eat is a little different, but I will never stop eating traditional food. The meat is what our bodies need to survive in the cold climate where we live. If we start eating southern food for a long time, we get physically tired and weak. For one thing, in many communities, it is the most available country food. Um, just in, in, in ecological terms, it's the most important resource because of its availability. It's nutritionally one of, probably one of the best foods one can find in the north. Inuit have known all their lives seal nourishes them, and scientific studies have confirmed the nutritional benefits of seal meat as containing a good source of iron, calcium, and especially rich in vitamin B12, and an excellent source of protein and minerals. Recent studies have also shown that seal has potential in preventing and treating diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma and arthritis, and research is continuing on its application in treating cancers of the breast, prostate, and colon. Any Inuk will tell you how well and quickly seal meat warms the body. It warms you up tremendously. Before I ate some meat, I was cold, and after I had some, I started to warm up. Even after I washed my hands in the ocean, I feel warm. You can buy beef these days in northern stores, but at an extremely expensive price. But not that many people can afford those foods. Ensuring that our families have access to healthy food is only one more reason we continue to hunt. What about Aboriginal hunting? We are against hunting. So hunting for food for your family is not uh, I think you can uh, survive without, uh, without food of wild animals.